Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to convert a value to string by using string conversion function. And also we have learned how to convert a value to integer data type by using integer conversion function. All right. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn boolean conversion function. By using this conversion function, we can return the value in Boolean version of the particular value. For and suppose if you're having any value, you want to convert that value data type to Boolean. In that case, you are going to use Boolean conversion function. All right, let me start with a small example over here. In our previous session, we have created a flow with the name of expressions flows. All right, over here, I'm going to give a number as an input for the manually trigger a flow. From here, I'm going to take it as a number. We have to enter the number as one or zero or minus one, or even you can add the strings like true or false. Based on that, if we observe one is, if we are going to give the integer as one, we will return the output as true whenever you are going to use Boolean conversion function. All right, in the same way, if you're going to use zero, in that case, the Boolean conversion function will return you as false. If you're going to use minus one, in that case, it will give you the output as true by using Boolean conversion function. We'll see that output by practically by using this demo. I'm going to use the same number over here. And then I'm going to use the compose data operations where I'm going to use the inputs over here, which are the input that I'm going to give it from the number. All right, that is manually trigger a flow. Now, if you go for the inputs over here, under the expressions that you are having conversion function, where you will find bool value, which converts the parameter to Boolean. So what are the value if we're going to give one or zero or minus one? Based on this, it will converse the value and then finally it will give the output in a such a format as true or false, we will get it. All right, we'll see that. Now I'm going to select the conversion function that is bool value. And then I'm going to give the input over here as number. All right, now let me click on OK. Now what will happen, now the integer value is going to be converting into the Boolean data type. All right, now let me click on save. Now we'll start testing our flow by giving the inputs over here by clicking on test. Click on test and I'm going to select manually and then I'm going to click on test. Now over here, what are the integer values that we need to give it? That is, we need to convert the integer to Boolean data type, right? So that I'm going to give it uh, the value over here as one, and then I'm going to run the flow. Now, the flow has been executed successfully. Now we'll see the output over here, what we got it from the Boolean conversion function, right? Let's click on compose. And then if you see, I have given the input as the number, and you can see the inputs over here, the number I have given it, and there, from there, the, what is the input? I have given it as one. From this input, I got the output as true from the compose data operator that is by using Boolean conversion function. All right, in the same way, we'll use the another value that is zero. Now, once again, we are going to test it with another value by clicking on test. And I'm going to give the value as zero over here. And then I'm going to run the flow once again. Now. If you see the output once again, you got the value as false from the Boolean conversion function. The input I have given it as zero, right? And the output I got it as false, right? Now, even if you give the same way, minus one, in that case, it will returns as true. Let's see that by clicking on test. And then over here, I'm going to give the value as minus one. And then I'm going to run the flow once again. Now, if you see, you got it the output as true for the value whenever you have given the integer value as minus one. All right. This is the conversion that you have done from integer to Boolean. What if I'm going to give the value as string? In that case, what is the output that we will get it? So 
the string is nothing but if i'm going to give it as true or false in that case based on that it will convert the string into once again the boolean value and then it will returns the value as true or false all right to make you understand let me make a small change over here in this flow by clicking on edit over here i'm going to add one more input i'm just going to give it as a text over here and then i'm going to give it as string input and then over here we are going to enter the values in a such way as true or false now based on this that what we have to do the string we need to convert into the boolean data type right how can we go ahead and do that the same thing we are going to use it and the input over here i'm going to change a little bit over here because of previously we have seen for the integer right right now we are going to check it for the string the, let's select the string input over here and then i'm going to update my flow by clicking on update let's save the flow once again now let's start testing this flow by clicking on test and i'm going to select manually over here and then i'm going to click once again on test over here i'm just going to give some number over here that's not required over here but just to make you understand over here i have given it as required field that's why I, it is going to be populated over here and the main input that is the string i have given it as true and then i'm going to run the flow once again now if you see the out output from the boolean conversion function we got the output as true whenever you have given the string as true all right now we will give false so in that case what will happen now in the manual trigger flow what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the required field for the number how can we go ahead and do that over here you can see over here make it optional over here make the field is optional i'm going to select it and then it is not the mandatory field to enter the values all right let me click on save once again now let me test the way flow once again by clicking on test let's click on test once again and if you see right now the number is not the required field only the required field is the string input right now i'm going to give it as false over here the string value and then let me run the flow once again now once again the flow has been executed successfully now if you see the output over here that i got it as false whenever the string value i have given it as a false all right i hope you understand how to convert a value from one data type to boolean data type by using boolean conversion function thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day